Hold up, before the video starts, let me, let me show you this real quick. I had these out here for a while, they've been charging. Yeah, I finally finished the Galaxy 11. But they've been charging up, let me, let me show you this real quick. Yes. But, yeah, yeah, yes. Full on glowing, we interstellar out here. We about to take off. Let me clean up this laundry mess. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, enough playing around. Let me let me show y'all the credentials real quick. M. Harvey SK Customs and Restorations, AKA Marcus Harvey. I'm the guy to go to for all your professional shoe repair and restoration needs. I also do customs. Whatever you need, if it has anything to do with shoes, I got you. Today, as you saw earlier in that little preview clip, we got a Jordan 11. This is a Concord box, I believe, but this shoe is actually well, this shoe was a Anniversary 11. I'm not even positive what kind of box the Anniversary 11s came in. If you know, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what type of box the Anniversary 11s came in. Because I'm trying to think right now. I know the Breads came in a regular box. This latest release. The Concord's got a special box. The Gamma's got a special box. The 72 and 10's got a special box. The Legend Blues came out in a special box. But right now, the Anniversary is just... It's missing from my brain. I just can't think of it. And here we have the Galaxy 11s. This shoe was done for a teammate of mine, a good client, a good friend. There's the dope customer who came to me with the idea and we got it done. As you see, we blacked out the uppers of the shoe no longer white actually this shoe wasn't white when i got it this shoe was gray this shoe was pretty heavily damaged the client he has so many shoes but he has no fear in hooping in any shoe and this was one of the shoes he hooped in i posted the before video a while back i think maybe maybe i didn't if not I'll, maybe i'll put some before pictures at the end as you see we went full interstellar on these Blacked out the mesh, blacked out the back leather heel, left the sock liner alone. We had to, we had to clean up the midsole a lot, and you already saw the glow on the um, soles. But the main thing for this, obviously, the Interstellar Galaxy all along the patent leather came out amazing. There's actually some color shift on the shoe too, so the Galaxy is really changing. Like sometimes the galaxy will disappear in spots in the light and sometimes it will reappear. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you'll be able to see it since I'm indoors. It's more of a when sunlight hits a thing, but we'll see. I love this shoe. This is one I'm going to make for myself. Here's a close-up on the galaxy. You see we got comets floating around. We got shooting stars. We got different nebulas everywhere. Like, there's aliens somewhere in here, I'm sure of it. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but some of the stars are a little slightly green tint. Those stars glow. Half the stars glow, the souls glow. We're just glowing over here. We got a red and yellow nebula over here. I don't know if it's a sun exploding. I'm not sure. I'm just the artist. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but I love how these came out. This is one that I'm going to make myself a pair. I'm probably going to do it on some Jordan 11 lows. So I'd have the low top version. So this client still has a one of one. There's a 23 in the back. I was thinking about removing it and then hitting it with the glow in the dark one, but I was like, that's, I think that's pushing me a little bit. So we're gonna do that. I don't know if you guys noticed just there, but there's no Jumpman. The Jumpman is missing. Drake is Jumpman, Jumpman, Jumpman. Where you at? <laughs> there's the third spacing tab. Hit it with the Galaxy as well. The Jumpman and the word Jumpman Jordan is hidden in there. I didn't outline it because I just thought it looked better that way. Um, the Jumpman's missing on the side because these are the, like I said before, these are Anniversary 11s and for some reason that batch or that release didn't get the Jumpman on the side. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know how these rank up there against other Galaxy shoes. I know there's the Galaxy Kobe All-Stars, there's the Galaxy Phones, there's the Big Bang, the Bronze, there's the Galaxy KDs. Those two only have Galaxy on the inside of the shoe, but still, it's Galaxy's Galaxy. 
I guess there's a galaxy dunks as well. That whole year. What, that was Area 72, I think. No, that was the year before Area 72. That was just Galaxy. Just let me know what you guys think. Would this rank up there with any of those other shoes? Or is this just booty garbage? Personally, I think you're on crack if that's what you think. I think these are fire. This is the other shoe. You guys saw the... What was that? The right shoe before? It's the left shoe. This shoe has completely unique details to the other shoe like each shoe represents its own galaxy but there is no replicating it perfectly on each shoe I wouldn't want it that way you can kind of see right there a little bit of oh you see that purple right there that's the color shift it's color shifting as you look at it. you see you can't really see but there's some wrinkled divots in there this toe cap was destroyed I had to remold it essentially and it came out pretty dope Here's another shot of, uh, I don't know, is that an asteroid field or is that a sun? You tell me. It's just fire in my opinion. Here's the heels of the shoes. I don't know what happened to my editing skills. They used to be more seamless, but I guess I was tired when I put all these together. But here's the back side of the shoe. See the 23 in that platinum interstellar astronaut suit colorway. And you know the sock liner. Oh, totally forgot when I did this. The insoles are gags, and you know, of course, I had to put the Nike Air on the insole. Forget that jump, man. We use Nike Air over here. It's an OG. It's the Galaxy 11 OG. We're not messing with those retros. That's another question. You guys know how the Green Glow 4s and the Sport Blue 3s, those were recently released? Are those going to be rare one day? Like, are they going to re retro the Green Glow 4s? They re retro the cool gray 11s. That was a non original colorway. They got re retro. Just questions I think about later at night when I do these videos. There's an upper view with the ridiculous galaxy that you could just fly into if you had a spaceship. Here's another side shot. Let me see if I can take out this insole for you. Or am I going to take this insole? I don't remember when I recorded this. But the insole's dope. Like, it's galaxy all throughout. I think I'm gonna rip it out. I think I'm gonna rip it out. Yes. Alright, now you guys see. These insoles are dope. I was going through a phase where every shoe I did got a custom insole. I don't know if you guys remember those My Little Pony kicks I did a while back. Those got a custom insole. But well, these got a galaxy insole. This is like a real galaxy. Legit galaxy. I found like this off a of NASA website. I got it printed onto a fabric and printed it and sewed it onto the insole. It came out great. I love how the Nike came out on the bottom too. Like that Nike on the bottom of any German or Jordan shoe is just ridiculous. I'm a huge fan. Like this later this year when the Maroon 6s come out, I'm gonna hurt really bad because that price tag is ridiculous, but I'm copying. And uh, well I guess Cement 4s are coming out too, that's not even rumored no more. That's an instant cop. And here I am again, trying to show off the glow for you guys. And the glow is crazy, like it's charged for like 15 minutes outside. The glow lasts a long time inside. And like I said earlier, in other videos, painting soles is never a good idea. So this glow is only on the outer edge of the sole. And the glow right now, you see right now, is not in a dark room. This room is full of light, as you just saw when I looked at my dirty laundry. It's full of light. Like this shoe when it's nighttime is ridiculously popping. Alright you guys. Ask a few questions in this video. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Would this be a good release Jordan? Or would this rank up there with those other galaxies? And I don't know. You guys seen a couple of my Jordan 11 customs so far. Let me know if any of them would be a good release shoe. In your opinion. Would they sell out? Would they sit on shelves? Let me know. Alright you guys, if you guys need anything, any work, anything galaxy eyes, <laughs> galaxy eyes, anything galaxy, let me know. If you want a sport team, you want anything customized, restored, you know how to reach me. Hit my inbox, contact information below. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a like and a comment down below. Alright you guys, peace.